hello everybody welcome back again super busy this is my second video today but I have to share this pattern with you also it's a one row pattern so as promised one rows and two row patterns uh, maximum um, I want to show you a lot of varieties of things that you can make this is actually a really cute pattern it's both sides let me stretch it you can see how it is um this is made in um chunky yarn and i use a five millimeter crochet hook uh, but i want to show you in a normal dk yarn with a four millimeter crochet hook how pretty that looks as well so just for the tutorial purposes uh, i wanted to show you a large one and what it would look in, in a normal lightweight yarn as well. This is great for baby blankets and it's great for scarves, any projects. Um, and it's really simple, it's only one row and you chain up in twos. So measure your work and, or do a smaller sample. For example, do 20 or uh, 14, any even number. And then do a few rows and you can see with your attention what's the width that you're getting and then just multiply the number of chains um, for what you want to make. So I'm going to show you in a bright red actually. Hopefully, let me just adjust this a little bit, you'll be able to see everything with the white behind it. So I'm going to go with a 4mm because this is a lightweight DK yarn number 3. And just for the sample size, I will show you a small section and I'm going to chain up 20. Okay. So, of course, you do your chain however long you need it to be. And it is so simple, but yet so pretty and elegant. So, not the first chain, the second chain, no yarn over, just go straight into there, pull up a loop, then yarn over, in again and pull up a loop. You've got four. Pull through all four, chain one. Miss the next one, go to the next one. So straight in, pull up a loop. I won't be able to show you so much in this one, but the, the point of this stitch is to not be tight it's to draw up the loop so you can get those long um you know these long slashes going either way like in the in the weave so um but it's a bit tricky on the first row so i will do my best so we've done that one we missed the next one we go into the next one pull up a loop yarn over and pull up another loop always have four chain one Miss a stitch, go to the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. Four loops, pull through all four and chain one. Miss one, go to the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. Four loops, pull through all four, chain one. one go to the next one four loops pull through all four chain one see this little pattern coming here miss one no yarning go in pull up draw up a loop yarn over go through draw up another loop four loops pull through all four chain one miss the next one and then same again miss a stick, uh, sorry, miss a chain and then go into the next one. Drop a loop, yarn over and drop another loop and chain one. And then the last one should be right here. So straight in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go in again, four loops, pull through all four. Then normally we chain one between every one. We'll chain two here on the end and flip our work over. Now this is where it gets it's not tricky but you just need to figure out where so these this is the little cluster thing that we did and on the side of it you'll always get this little triangle can you see them 
There's another one there. Put this hook down so I can show you properly. So it's not this space here. It's not this one here where I'm poking my nail through. It's this little triangle here. You see these little triangles? When you pull the stitches apart, you can see on the left hand side there's these little triangles. Not that one, this one. But basically, if you look at there, that's why I wanted to do a darker colour with a white background so you can see. It looks like two triangles. One pointing down and one pointing up. It's the first one. First one there. Okay, so I'll show you what you do then. So when you get to the end, you chain two, flip your work over and we are going into those triangles. So no yarning, no nothing. Straight into the triangle draw per loop. Now I can I can hold the work better so I can show you how you should go up and yarn over and then do it again. Can you see how I'm pu pulling up the loops? Chain one, find the next triangle and draw per loop. Give it some height basically. To the next triangle, draw per loop, yarn over, draw per loop. And it is so easy. We'll see when I do a few more rows with you. Can you see one slants this way, one slants that way? It's like a little weave. It's really pretty. really like trying to draw up that loop high. It's not my normal way of crocheting but this is this is what the um, make will make it look really nice. So when you get to the end there is a little triangle there but you can't see it so put your hook in there, draw up a loop, yarn over and then go in again, draw up a loop, same way for that's your last one there. Chain two, flip it again. There's your triangle to go in there, draw up a loop, go in again, four, pull through all four, chain one. I don't even know if there is a name for this. Stitch. Maybe if you guys know, let me know. I learned it from my mum. And the last one's here. Chain two, flip your work. Do a couple of more rows and you'll be able to see how pretty this is. This is in light yarn, DK yarn, number three with a four millimeter crochet hook. The larger piece that I showed you earlier on, that was done in chunky knit with a five, just to give you an idea how it would look in the chunky as well. And it works up pretty quick once you get the hang of it. I think it's so pretty. That's three rows. Do one more row to show you. So go into the triangle, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up another loop. It's so always four. Always four and pull through into the triangle. You can now see the triangles actually a bit more. See they're right on the sides here. That one, that one. It's nice because it's got um, a real nice texture to it, but it's still quite light and airy. A perfect thing, see, for a 
baby blanket as well. Hope you can see, I've just realised the sun's coming in. So this is my one row blanket, I mean sorry, one row pattern, really pretty. This is it in a chunkier yarn, I did one in a cream as well so you could see. And it is, the best thing is it's uh, reversible, so there's no backwards or forwards. There's no backwards, front and the back, exactly the same. Thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, thank you for all your lovely comments and subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. I will continue to think of two and one row patterns for you to do. See you on the next one.